The attack on judiciary and the electoral body IBC by politicians is not sitting well with a cross-section of Kenyan leaders. The Anglican Church leader as well as the Central Organization of Trade Union boss are now calling on politicians to desist from disrespecting these institutions. Any attack of uh, IEBC, any attack of the Supreme Court, shake the very foundations that has established us as a nation. And therefore, we need not to undertake into that route. Beautiful leaders, we must respect those people who are there before us. And not only respect them. Somebody like Maraga is a professional. That Supreme Court registrar, she's a professional. So we must respect the professions, we must respect the age. You must pray. The Anglican Church Archbishop Jackson Ole Sapit and the Court Secretary General Francis Atwoli say that it is unfortunate most leaders and Kenyans at large are interpreting the Supreme Court ruling with an ethnic bias. <laughs> But even as IBC prepares for the repeat elections, they have been urged to look into issues raised by political parties in order to create a level playing field. We therefore urge them to be able to look at what has been cited as anomalies and malpractices and address before Kenyans go to that elections so that they deliver a peaceful, free, fair and credible elections. <laughs> Jubilee leaders have vowed to change the electoral laws, but Ole Sapit now says they should exercise patriotism and not make decisions dictated by the current situation. Let us not have the current uh, look at the current political formation as uh, the ones that is going to help us uh, or, or to guide us in the way we are going to formulate our laws. Let us formulate laws that will st stand the test of time and ensure that the laws we have cut across board. Harit Salim, NTV.